Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am just here today um, with a small little project share. So I found this cute little package of hair clips um, that you can buy on Amazon. Of course, I will link this in my description box below, but it just has the cutest little clips in there um, that you can use. And some of them have patterns on them. Some of them are just solid colors. Um, like some of the ones that have patterns on them have like fruits and all kinds of fun little things on here. There's one, here I'll take out a few. Like this one has cherries on it. Um, then there's plain colors and you get a ton. I think you get like 125. Look how pretty this one is with the flowers on it. And I just thought, ooh, I want to get that and see what I can do with it. There's purple. Here's another one that has like little watermelon slices on it. But how cute is that? And I was, I also noticed how cute this little packaging is. Um, once I'm done with all of these fun little clips, it comes in this super adorable little box with a little girl on the on the front of it. So um, I don't. I think the company may be called Funtopia, um, but of course, again, I'll link link it in my description box uh, below. So uh, don't forget to check that um, when you're done watching the video. So what I did was I decided to make these super cute little felty clips. Um, so. Um, I did use E6000. These are, of course, metal. I did hang some cute little charms from the bottom. Um, and you know what? I tried it because I made some with um, cabochons as well. You can use it for a chip clip. You can use it to clip onto something. Now, I did clip it to paper. You do want to make sure it's like a thicker paper. You definitely don't want to use something thinner because it does have quite a bit of a, a clamp down on it. But how cute is that? And just imagine putting this on a, like a little project or something. Um, and then here's another one that I made. And this one has cute little pink polka dots on it. And I love this little bow. And then I just did some more uh, dangles down here at the bottom, which I think is so cute. And then here's another one. This one is a little peeps. I, I bought these from um, Instagram. Um... And I'm trying to think of her name, <laughs> but I'll, I'll post it in the description box. Um, she makes the most adorable felties. I think she has an embroidery machine, but look at how cute. And you can uh, just share these with somebody. You could actually make them for someone's hair if you wanted to. Um, of course, I would probably use mine for um, some crafting goodies, but how stinking adorable is that? I just love these. And then here's some of the ones that I did make um, with just using some cabochons. These are super fun. And again, I did use um, E6000 for these as well. They do all have a tiny little hole in there. So you can put a thin um, split ring through there. Um, for these, I did not, but I could, if I changed my mind, I could always add something on there um, to dangle. And then here's a couple more. And you guys know me, I have like 1 million cabochons, so that was not a problem. <laughs> but so cute and so fun. And then here's another one um, that I picked up. Um, that it, This one came from this set as well. Um, and it just has some cute little fun spring colors on it. And I added uh, this on there. And of course, the one that I actually was using on my little bag over there, the cute little bunny. So I think these are so cute and fun to share. And, and like I said, I mean, if you have a little girl or know a little girl, you could definitely make them to use in their hair. I don't think it's going to come off. I Like I said, I used E6000, so I don't think that would be a problem. You probably wouldn't be able to do the dangles or something if you are going to actually use it for that purpose. But if you're just going to clip it to a little project or something, definitely um, this would be super cute to just add on to like a little envelope or something. How cute. So that is my uh, first little project that I have. So let me move these out of the way. And again, I will um, post everything in my description box. 
So fun. Then I picked uh, some of these fun little um, hair ties that everybody's getting. I also picked these up from Amazon and I just love these ones. They're really cute. Um, some of them do have little stars in them, but for the most part, I love how they're, they change colors depending on which angle you hold them at. They're at different, uh, there's different colors on each one. And you can see the ones right there that have like the little stars on them. So I think these are super cute. And then, um, it also came with like more of the matte style. So I wanted to get some because I want to try making some of the hearts that um, Anna was showing everybody on theirs. But um, I did decide to um, do something a little bit different. Um, so, of course, I'm going to save some of these fun ones um, for making some hearts. Um, but I did purchase, let me show you these cute little pens. I picked up these pens from Amazon as well super cute little animal pens uh, and they're just straight little pens and they just have cute little like this one has a little dinosaur on top um, and then here's a different one and then this cute little one but they're just little straight pens so what I decided to do is to uh, take some of those cute little um, the little hair pieces and I did just go ahead and cut um, cut it right in the middle and I wrapped it around. I thought that was really cute and it gives it a nice little grip to it and it doesn't disturb the top or anything. Um, but I wanted to try that and I love how this one goes like blue into purple. That's really cute. So I thought that would be a fun way to use, um, some of these little coils. Now I did have some charms on, on here on some of them. Um, I'm kind of on the, on the fence. I'll show you guys, um, what it looks like. And here's the last one that I did, uh, which is like green. It is pretty cute. Um, I'm just on the fence. So literally I just cut this, uh, in half, but I'll show you what it kind of looks like. You can add some charms on it. I did try it. You do have to have a pretty large size, um, split ring or O ring. Um, because the one that I use, I, I want to say it's like a 10 millimeter. It's pretty big. So you can definitely put some charms on here, which this is how I, um, initially had them and you can hang these on here and then you can go ahead and this will stop also, uh, stop it from moving. So I'm going to put it back on there and show you guys what it looks like with some charms on there. And I like to scooch it up to the top so it holds the little charms in place. And then you just wrap it around. It's super easy. Not anything too difficult to do. I love these little hair thingies. They're so pretty. And I've seen lots of people with different kinds. All right. And then let me put the top back on there. I'm glad that they did this. They covered up the tip until I'm ready to use that. Um, so that the ink won't go dry. But you can definitely add some cute little charms to it. Some little dangles. Um, but like I said, you do need a pretty uh, big size. And I think I picked these up from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. But like I said, it, I think it's like a 10 millimeter um, size loop, if I'm not mistaken. And then you can add some little dangles to it. How cute. So fun. So that is my second project. And then I was just making some fun little cards um, with some of my doodle bug. So I made just some little um, pocket um, cards using that, uh, the new hippity hoppity. So I literally took, this is a four by six inch sheet and I scored it at two and a half and I folded it over. And then I just used some tape to adhere these um, together on the sides. And then I did use some of the cute little ephemera um, that comes in the pack. And I added the cute little gems to the where the wheels are. I did pop this up on a little bit of foam tape. And then I added this cute little um, friend sticker down here. And then I just put like a super simple little card in there. And it just says Easter egg hunt. But I just thought that would be a fun little project to create like a little card. And it does open. So um, 
yeah, I thought this would be cute. I'm, I like to have cards ready to go. And then you can just kind of slide it back. You could also, if you wanted to, you could create a gusset on the side if you prefer. But I just um, did it this way. And again, it's a four by six, scoring at two and a half and folding it over and creating this little cute little pocket. And then here's the second one that I did. I'm using that same paper. I just use this cute little banner that says Happy Easter. And then on the inside, I just added a very simple little card in here layering some of the paper and one of the uh, cute pieces of ephemera. Um, you can't put too much stuff on it because um, it's a pretty snug fit. So you wanna make sure that it can easily slide in and out of the pocket. And you could just write a little note and you know put it in your, um, into uh, a swap or something, or if you're sending somebody a little card and just write them a little note. And those are my fun little projects that I have for today. Um, again, check my description box um, if you're interested in picking up any of these items that I purchased and wanna give it a try. So I will talk to you guys all very soon. Bye.